Hello all, what's up? Uh, hope you're good, welcome in a new vlog. First, uh, before I talk uh, about my reading and the books I got and some stuff I bought, etc, etc, thank you so much for your support and all your nice comments you left me under my previous video or the DMs you sent me, etc, etc. It really, really means a lot. Um, I'm... I don't know what to say about that. I'm still waiting. So on February 12th, I have an appointment with a specialist. I'm, uh, I also have contacted my hairdresser to see what I could do with my hair, what she would advise me to do, what she would advise me not to do, etc., etc., to see if I could go blonder or not, if I should go shorter, or maybe that's just me imagining stuff and maybe it's not that worse or whatever and the bridgeway is flashing as usual always at the wrong time i will but ah uh, i will be right back hello back uh so yeah i was saying blah 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 hair stuff etc so uh we'll see what's gonna happen we'll see what i'm gonna do with myself etc we'll see what's possible what's not what medication if i'm gonna take like a uh, vitamin b injection here and liquid something in my head or whatever we'll see about that um but yeah it's very annoying but it's fine i'm not like it could be worse and some people are going through very worse uh situation very bad situations etc etc so i'm happy it's just that still annoying because it's happening to me to myself you know but it's okay i'm gonna deal with it <laughs> and thank you so much um, yeah, I wasn't expecting to have that kind of feedback or whatever, that kind of nice comments. Not that I thought you wouldn't understand me, but just, I don't know, I didn't think you would care, actually. I think that's more that. But thank you so much, so, yeah. But now, I'm gonna show you a few stuff I bought. So, remember my journal here, waiting to be used so i bought some stuff for it so i bought like liquid some kind of pencil whatever it's hybrid <laughs> as my car uh hybrid gel uh grip dx i don't know i got a green one a silver one a white one and a gold one golden one still not sure if you say gold or golden please correct me but yeah i bought these for uh, i tried them on regular paper they looked nice and they were like easy to use because there was another brand that i tried and you had to like push harder very like not comfortable uh for writing but whatever i'm gonna try these i also bought uh some tabs here uh if you wanna focus please doesn't wanna focus here um i bought these because they were like different whatever and because the one that we get like these with all these colors i tend to only use green and blue because i don't like the other colors i prefer pastels one you know i'm not a very colorful person so these ones were like except for that one the others are quite my aesthetic kind of thing and i also bought some glue because i would like maybe to glue some pictures or some illustrations some some inspirations kind of thing so maybe i will do that but hopefully i will start using it soon sooner than later and i also got two books um I know which one they are, so a hard cover and a tiny paperback, uh, which is the sequel to a book that was very, let's say, controversial. Uh, so that's a book I really like. The first part of it, the first half of it, I loved it. It was like everything I wanted it to be. And then the second half of the book, I totally got lost. I didn't understand what was happening. I was just reading and my brain was like, on pause you know i didn't understand what was actually happening but i think a lot of people were in the same situation but i still wanted to get the sequel and we got little bears here didn't focus but here it is so i got uh the night country by melissa albert which is the sequel to hazelwood so i'm really curious to see how 
it's gonna continue in that book because I have no idea. I didn't think that it would be actually like a series or whatever. I thought it was a one book. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But I have another hard book here. I think it's the one I have in mind. Yeah, I actually asked you on Instagram to pick uh, the cover for that one because there is um, like there are two versions of that book. Oh, that one is cute. Uh, so you picked that one. Let me check. Yeah, it is a gorgeous one. Yeah. So it is uh, Blood Hair by Emily Wenzhou. Um Let me see naked. It's but Oh, I love that it's on that side, you know, like here. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, it's a very big font. So it's not that huge of a book a little yeah 450 pages um it is like basically a retelling of anesthesia in the Syrian empire affinities are reviled the varied gifts to control the world around them are unnatural dangerous and anesthesia Mikhailo, the crown princess has a terrifying secret her deadly affinity to blood is her curse and the reason she has lived her life hidden behind palace walls when Anna's father, the emperor, is murdered, her world is shattered. Framed as a killer, Anna must flee the palace to save her life. And to clear her name, she must find her father's mother on her own. But the Cyrilia beyond the palace walls is far different from the one she thought she knew. Corruption rules the land and a greater conspiracy is at work, one that threatens the very balance of her world. And there is only one person corrupt enough to help Hannah get to its core, Ramson Kiktong. A cunning crime lord of Syrian and underworld, Ramson has sinister plans, has sinister plans. So he might have met his match in Anna, because in this story the princess might be the most dangerous player of all. So I'm really curious, you know, I'm addicted to anything Anastasia, so I cannot wait to give that one a try. But that's gonna be it for now, so I'm just gonna do other stuff. And I will update you tomorrow because I will have time. You will know why. And yeah, bye walls. I think it's time for a little update. It's already Sunday. So I'm gonna wrap up that vlog. Obviously, you saw all the laundry. I'm making a mess. My hair is a mess. I'm disgusting. I uh, was outside with the dogs. I went for a walk and I'm all disgusting. But we don't care about that, right? So I wanted to say I finished a dark down. I don't know if I told you that I gave it two stars because it's not that it's bad. I just didn't care. I didn't feel anything like I should stop myself from reading series, continuing with series if I don't enjoy the first book. Uh, this is probably an unpopular opinion. I didn't like that much uh, Never Night. I preferred uh, Ghost Grave because it was more about doing stuff and less about learning or talking let's say and the third book i just wanted to kill everyone because everyone was so boring so annoying so i don't know useless i didn't see the point of that book whatever but that's probably an unpopular opinion so i don't think this is a bad book it is just not for me i knew it from book one but i Stupid me, I had to read the entire series and this is just a nightmare. Um, what else? Yeah, so if you ask me to summarize Dark Dawn, obviously I'm not going to do it now here because spiders, but I could just name you four or five stuff that happened. I just couldn't care less, so I forgot everything after listening to it. So even five minutes after listening to it. I couldn't tell you what happened. That's telling you how much I didn't care about anything. I was focused, so I wasn't doing anything else at the time. Like, I was really listening to it and just driving. I wasn't even, you know, wondering in my thoughts or whatever. I wasn't, like, I wasn't on my phone or I wasn't, like, on the internet or whatever. I was just driving, focusing on the story. So, you, you cannot say I didn't try to focus, I didn't try to remember or whatever. It just wasn't for me. So yeah. Uh, I'm still in the middle. No, I'm, I have 100 pages left of The Wicked King. I think I'm going to finish it so I can be done with it. But maybe I could... 
I will see. I think I'm gonna finish it because I'm almost done, but then I'm gonna stop with that series because I don't see the point. And I know there is only one book left, but hey, I don't care. Um, also, I started The Puppy War. It's not bad. It's good. Intriguing. But I think I'm just in that mood, like, I don't care about any characters. But it's not bad. It's better than Dark Town so far, in my opinion. So, I'm listening to it. But again, I cannot tell you much, because... I tend to forget everything after, so that's not normal, and I'm only trying to get in, whatever. Um, my hair is a mess. I, I told you in my previous vlog that my hair was a total mess, whatever. Um, I need to get it. I seriously need to get it. Well, see. Um, yeah, see, they all like. Um, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm reading Poppy War. I mean, listening to it. I think maybe that's an issue with audiobooks recently. I'm just not into audiobooks at the moment. Maybe that's that. I could maybe try to read, but whatever. And also, yes, yeah, so that I. Watch, like, in two sittings i think i've watched the entire third series no third seasons of the third season yeah that's the third season of uh sabrina i don't know how i feel about it actually let me put you differently here so i don't have to like hold you. oops so I, I cannot tell you exactly how I feel about Sabrina because I, I, I don't think it was that bad or whatever. I think I preferred season 3 to season 2, but that ending was so rushed. I'm not gonna say anything and blah 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 because spiders again, but it was a bit too rushed, etc. And Riverdale, oh my god, I think I'm watching that series because that's the kind of like guilty pleasure or whatever because it's easy to watch. At the very beginning it was interesting, but it's going nowhere. I feel it's going just nowhere. I don't understand why I'm still watching this, but I'm watching this. Maybe because I'm that far in the series, so I want to continue with it. Like, same with books, apparently. When I'm not enjoying a series, I still want to finish that series. Never mind. Um, so, yeah. I also have other stuff I need to do. Oh my gosh, I have so many stuff I need to do. I have to edit videos for this week. I have to edit the vlog, which I'm probably going to do tomorrow because I don't want to do it now. I was supposed to draw. I didn't draw. I was supposed to write a letter. I didn't do it. I'm just not in the mood for anything at the moment. I was supposed to um, work on my uh, virtual, not virtual, uh, electronic like online how do we say that um i mean my belgium on my ipad i was supposed to start in my belgium like the physical belgium i was supposed to take pictures because i'm changing the feed on instagram because actually i want to challenge myself and do something a bit different and also i don't want my instagram to just be about books i would like to have a feed uh you know a theme like color skin kind of thing that uh, makes like pictures of books fit with pictures of me or pictures of mooney pictures of landscape etc etc and with my feed like bright white gray green it's really hard to actually have that um like on an everyday basis like let's say i'm gonna take like a coffee at a bar whatever at a cafe whatever the background is i don't know i feel like nothing goes well with my theme actually uh, which maybe it's wrong whatever, but I also feel like I need something to pop up more for my pictures So I was thinking about incorporating like some yellow and some like orangey kind of colors, you know 
like one warm color with all the cold colors so i'm gonna try to do that just to make it more alive to make it more pop to make it more like i don't know for the light to be like more i don't know because i, I would like to try to try to do that so it's really not good to see to see me from that close right it's better from here right let me put you here yeah, it's better from here actually. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to do that. It's still gonna be challenging, and also I would like like to incorporate more pictures of my travels, etc., etc. And I feel like most of the time, the green. Oh, it's too dark. No, is it because it's too bright behind? Probably. Ugh. Okay. Um, so yeah, I would like to incorporate more pictures of my travels because I feel like the green I love and I use in my pictures is not the green that you can find in on an everyday basis kind of thing. It's very dark, but hello, hello, and um, yeah, I feel it's hard, so I don't feel like that could feel like. Let's say I'm gonna find a very nice uh, monument or whatever in another country it's all always gonna be gray and no colors because i'm gonna have to turn down all the colors and add white etc so it's gonna be all like monochrome kind of thing and also my theme is kind of like on a white background or whatever it's very like that's not the it's not simple uh i mean the word i'm looking for but more like it's less busy okay that's very annoying what if i put you here okay better i look so much flatter but it's fine um so yeah it's always like white or green you know one color two colors and it's very not simple but basic kind of thing not basic i don't know it's not that busy in my in my pictures and i feel that whenever i add a picture of outside or a picture of mooney whatever it's getting too busy for my theme and i would like something to be more about my everyday life like it's not like life outside outside it's life whatever doesn't look like an instagram feed if you know what i mean so i would like to incorporate that in my feed and see how that goes but i don't know actually so i don't know yeah i honestly don't know i think it's gonna be horrible i don't know if oh i'm so scared i know it's stupid but i'm scared that my feed won't be okay won't be even watchable uh because i really don't know what to do actually i'm completely lost i just feel like i need that kind of challenge at the moment because i'm at some point i was like okay i should stop instagram i should stop booktube i should stop twitter i'm not adding anything to the community or whatever i'm not entertaining i'm not whatever but that's just because i'm not in a good mindset at the moment i love booktubing i love instagramming i love tweeting etc etc so it's just like how i feel at the moment because i'm not in a good mi mindset but that's not really what i want it's just that at some point i'm just like i don't give a shit about anything i don't want to do anything like i posted like once i think or twice since uh 2020 like January 1st and yeah that's why I didn't say I used to post every single day and I don't even want to have a photo shoot uh, for, for pictures because I'm just not in that mood and I have no idea what I would take pictures of like obviously books but what position you know what flatly and stuff like that I have no idea how to set up everything at the moment because i just have no creativity basically i haven't uh, drawn in a long time now i'm i'm just like no worry i want to do so many stuff at the same time but it's just like impossible um but yeah that's pretty much it 
and my fly trap is doing something very weird like it's growing can you see so high but i don't know why <laughs> Hello. But yeah. But I'm good. I'm good. Could be worse, so I'm good. My hair. I think I'm just gonna have to get it. So I think that for today, I'm gonna maybe try to take some pictures. I should. I know I should. Maybe I'm gonna do that, even if I don't wanna do that. I should maybe do that. That's for you, Wolf. <laughs> uh, and then I'm gonna try to catch up on uh, YouTube videos because I'm so behind. I don't remember watching any videos this week. Yeah, I think like at all. So I'm really bad. I really have a lot of catching up to do and I need to write a letter to a friend, but I don't know what to say actually, that's the point. Um, so yeah, I got new cactus here and there and I have like thumbs downstairs as well um but that's pretty much it I think well it's nothing special happened as usual always the same life here um still looking for a new job uh but I think that for now I'm really gonna stop looking for one in Belgium. There is no hope. I've been looking for a job in Belgium for over two years. So that's telling you how much the system is fucked up here. Uh, but I'm gonna try to find abroad then so I can move from the country I don't like. And if you're from Belgium, I'm sorry. I hope you like your country. You like being here. I don't. So yeah. I guess we're all different and we belong to different worlds and different mindsets and different countries, different habits, etc, etc. So there is no thing wrong with me telling that I don't like a specific country and that you actually like the country I hate. That's fine. We're all different. Like, it's okay for you to hate a book I love and for me to hate a book you love. That's human, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna stop because I'm just rambling and I'm not in a good mindset, Wolves. That's all I want to say. Uh, being honest, I'm not in a good mindset for so many other reasons. I don't want to talk about them here. Um, maybe I, I should do a Q&A so I could answer to some questions in a Q&A video. I'm more like personal. Uh, because I don't mind sharing stuff with you, not at all. I just don't feel like the vlog is a place to do that. Because maybe triggers, maybe, yeah, maybe that. And also, it's already gonna be a long vlog. I don't think so, because I didn't vlog that much, but it's gonna be over half an hour. I'm pretty sure of that, so it's gonna be <laughs> like a longer vlog. But never mind, I'm gonna stop here, Wolves. Um, yeah. I'm gonna try to finish actually the Weekend King, watch a few videos, maybe start editing this and that's all I'm gonna do for today, I think, and sleep and relax and maybe take some medication. Yeah, I need to do <sighs> Whatever. Love you walls. I hope you're good. Uh, and yeah, as usual, thank you for watching this vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be a part of the pack. Talk to me in the comment section. Tell me what you're reading. And until next time, take care walls. Bye.